That's a lot of nuts! Well, we knew it was gonna happen eventually. I made one too many Winnie the Pooh jokes, and now my social credit score has dropped to basically zero. China won't even let me upload videos to their website anymore. Not that YouTube's available in mainland China anyway, but that still doesn't mean that I want to be a bad role model for all of my Chinese fans. But don't you worry. I have a plan to get back every single one of my social credit points and more, and that's with this video. I believe by showcasing some of my favorite Chinese music, TikToks, and internet memes, I might be able to get back on the good side of the People's Republic of China. And before you woke idiots try to cancel me, no, this is not a pair of chopsticks in my hair, okay? It's a hairpin. I bought it right next to the chopsticks at my local H Mart, okay? So if you'll leave me alone now, I gotta eat my volcano noodles. Which, I forgot a fork. Damn it. So in 2013, China's President Xi Jinping met up with Barack Obama in the United States. You guys know Barack Obama, right? From the Persona franchise? Transition. So anyway, Xi Jinping has a picture taken of him walking with Barack Obama, Obama, and it seems like a whatever picture until it was compared to this picture of Winnie the Pooh walking with Tigger. Okay, it's one comparison. They're similar heights to the characters, I guess. But then multiple pictures were made comparing Winnie the Pooh to Xi Jinping with other government officials and Eeyore and Piglet, and eventually it became a bit of a meme. Memes are whatever. It's nothing to get upset about, one would think. That was until 2017 when China banned the airing of the Winnie the Pooh movie, Christopher Robbins, anywhere in the country. It was also made clear that the government was actively trying to scrub these images from the internet, making it clear that Xi Jinping seems to have taken it personally and no longer wants these comparisons to be made. And once that became public knowledge, according to the Streisand effect, it was successful and nobody has ever compared Winnie the Pooh to Xi Jinping ever again. Next meme. Funny enough, Winnie the Pooh is not the only children's character who has found itself with a bad connotation over in the People's Republic. Peppa Pig is pretty much straight out banned in China because of her association with gang subculture? From the research that I've done, evidently the people who enjoy Peppa Pig have been marked as society people, basically a slang term for gangsters and lowlives over in China. As a result, the people who enjoy Peppa Pig slash speak out against the government have embraced Peppa as like their personal mascot for democracy. According to The Guardian, footage of tattoos both real and temporary have become viral hits as have fan videos of the pig speaking in various regional dialects. I like this. It's very grown up. Some memes, however, have taken on dark undertones, occasionally veering into violent or pornographic territory. Pornography is illegal in China, and laws banning them are strictly enforced. Say what you will about the Chinese government, but outright banning pornography means that every Chinese citizen is passing No Nut November with flying colors. Communism's looking better every day. So I just got off the phone with my agent, and he said that my social credit score is so low that I'm not even allowed to order Chinese food anymore, which sucks. Anyway, John Cena, aka John Cena, I think, uh, is an American WWE wrestler turned Hollywood actor. He has videos as early as 2016 showcasing his love for Chinese culture, their people, speaking in Mandarin, eating their food. To face on how the chili sauce. So Shen Zai made here Wo Yong Lao Gang Ma Zai Xi Lian Hua Wo Yong Han Duo Han Duo Lao Gang Ma Bu Shi Guang Gao. Uh, he didn't become the face of American sellout to the Chinese Communist Party until a video he posted promoting Fast and the Furious 9 in which he basically put out an apology in Mandarin to the Chinese people apologizing for acknowledging Taiwan as its own country, 
rather than part of China, as China would have preferred him to refer to them. While that is a major sellout move, that isn't even the biggest Chinese meme that John Cena has been a part of. It was much later in a similarly veined video that he posted while eating some ice cream. The Chinese word for which, by the way, is Bing Chilling. Uh, if you guys want to know how I know that, just watch the video. Needless to say, this combination of him apologizing for saying that Taiwan was a country rather than southern China, as well as singing after talking about how much he likes ice cream and the Fast and the Furious 9, has led to some memes. E R S. All right, that's enough memes about John Cena singing Chinese music. We can't do an entire section just talking about Chinese music. Okay, we got to move on to the next one. I wonder what the title card's going to say. So when we're talking about Chinese meme music, we got to start with Ching Chang Hanji, which you might not recognize, but I think you might recognize depending on how many 10 hour loops of foreign music you listen to. It comes from an original Chinese opera. I'll play it here. Kind of impressive how quickly this man is able to enunciate these Chinese characters, I, I think. It's hard for me to know as a dude who doesn't speak Chinese. Here's another rendition of it that's a little bit more vocalized, the vocals of which then turn into the meme. Here's a clip from Tom and Jerry where Tom is chasing Jerry. That's that's kind of what they do every episode. And then he gets slapped with a record player and turns Chinese for some reason. <laughs> You take the fast-speaking Chinese opera, bro, you put it over a trap beat, you take the Tom and Jerry clip, and you upscale it to 4K with RTX, and you get the Ching Chang Hong Chi meme. <laughs> Don't ever let some hipster bitch try and look down on you for your mainstream music taste ever again. Oh, I only listen to indie music. My favorite band is Neutral Milk Hotel. You've never heard of them. Have you heard of Neutral Milk Hotel? No, bitch. I only listen to Ching Chang Hanji, the 10-hour looped version, the acoustic original Chinese opera version. Anyway. It's time for everyone to recite the Chinese national anthem. Sing it with me. Come on. Is a Chinese song that was sung by this man, colloquially and lovingly referred to as the Chinese Egghead Man, is just a TikTok of a dude singing one of his favorite Chinese songs. It's an actual song, so I can't play the original version, unfortunately. What I can play for you is the lo-fi version, which I put in every title card because it slaps. <laughs> Chinese Egghead Man is not the only person who has found success on TikTok by singing his favorite Chinese song. We also have 
uh Chinese man number two uh, with his rendition of Super Idol 105 Degrees that has been giga viral over the last month. Super Idol 105 Naturally, with Chinese music slapping as hard as it does, it was only a matter of time before China themselves decides to capitalize on this artistic creativity by implementing it in some local Chinese TV. For instance, you can see a lot of these songs on local Chinese SpongeBob. Take a look at this very real clip that exists. Berhentilah mengeluh Squidward. Kau tidak dengar SpongeBob mengeluh bukan? Super Idol 的笑容都没你的甜，把宇宙的阳光都没你耀眼。Kau harus banyak belajar dari anak itu. Tuan Crab, dia itu tidak normal. 热爱一百零五度的你，滴滴青春的蒸馏水。Naturally, after learning the influential nature of a catchy tune, the Chinese government decided to make some of their own music in an effort to basically spread propaganda about how great China is. And in such, they created Chinese rap, or for short, C rap. It's pretty crap. Yes, go. People coming to Beijing. This is guy looks gloomy. He better bracing in. Ah,、uh, the time's moving and clocks ticking. Now have this thing. And you guys thought Cardi B's rapping was bad? Wait till you get a load of Cardi C, huh? No, seriously, this female rapper's name is Cardi C. China, if you're gonna steal rap ideas from America, at least steal the ideas from the good rappers. Super Idol 的笑容都没你的甜，把宇宙的阳光都没你耀眼。热爱一百零五度的你，滴滴青春的蒸馏水。So China's got a lot of rules. Okay, it's a communist country. Government kind of runs everything. There's a lot of people over there. So in an effort to try and keep everybody behaving the way that the government would like, they introduced a social credit point system. Basically, you start with a thousand points, and you gain points for doing good things, like having your kid win a major athletic tournament or ratting on your neighbor if they're doing something illegal. And you lose points if you do stuff that the government finds questionable, like having more than one kid, playing more than five hours of video games, writing anything against the Chinese government on the internet, which again you already have limited access to. It's not a great system, but it is kind of a bad and inhumane system. Since if you lose a bunch of points,、uh, it's not like a credit score where it just means you can't borrow money from the bank. It literally will stop you from using public transportation. You get lower prioritization at hospitals. They won't let you into certain places if your credit system is too low. Don't you feel stupid? But the speed of 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 spe